In this video, I show you how to use your Fire Stick without your remotes. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. If you've gone and lost your Fire Stick TV remote, you may be wondering how can you go and use it? Well, don't worry, I'll show you how. The only thing you're going to need is a phone. Whether that be an iOS or Android, it's going to work. So let's get into this guide. If you're getting this message here as well about a remote not being connected, I'll show you how you can get around it as well. So go and open up your phone and then go and open its app store, whether that be your iOS app store, the Google Play store, whatever app store your phone has, go and open it up just like so. Then what we need to do is just wait for it to load and go and tap on search and you need to go and get the app called the Amazon Fire TV app. So just type it in Amazon Fire TV. And the app you want is this one here. It looks just like this. If you go and tap on it, it's going to be by Amazon themselves. Make sure you get the official one. Then just go and download it like so and wait for it to finish. Once it's downloaded, then all you need to do is go and open it up just like so and it's going to go and look something like this. Now you're going to go and need to go and give it some permissions. As you can see here, firstly, it wants to go and use Bluetooth. Just press OK because it's going to need this sort of these connections in order to go and connect to your Fire TV and you need to go and press sure as well. And then you have another one for accessing your local network. So go and press allow as well and also go and press allow down here. And then you've got the option for notifications. So that's up to you really. So now what's important is that you need to go and join the same Wi-Fi network as your Fire TV is on. As you can see, mine isn't finding anything, it just says searching for devices. So I'm going to go and close off the app, and then what I'm going to do is open up my settings and go and change my Wi-Fi network. Something to consider as well is if you have like Wi-Fi boosters throughout your house, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi booster as your Fire Stick is as well. So I've now gone and switched, so I'm now going to go back to the app. And so here we are back on the app, and as you can see, it now is giving me the option for my Fire TV Stick, so I can go and tap on it just like so. And as you can see, I now need to go and enter this code, which has gone and appeared on the screen. So I'll type that in now, that's 5354, like so, and it now says verifying pin. So I'll just give it a moment, and here we are on the remote. Also, I just want to add in as well, if you're getting a pop-up on your Fire TV saying something like, we can't go and find your remote, when you're and you're trying to verify that pin, and therefore the pin is sort of hidden behind that message, don't worry, all you need to do is simply go and completely power off your Fire TV. So if it's plugged into the USB on your back of your TV, unplug it. And if it's plugged into the wall, unplug it as well. And literally just wait a few seconds and re-plug it in. Your Fire TV is then going to go and turn back on and it takes a bit of time to turn back on, but then you're gonna have like a minute or two before you go and get the pop-up saying your remote isn't connected. So go back to the Fire TV app on your phone and if it still says that verify pin or enter pin, just press cancel and then try rejoining it again before you go and get the pop-up and then the pin should pop up before you go and get the other message about you not having a remote connected. If I go and tap right, for example, as you can see, it's then moving, it's really great and you've got all the main buttons as well, play, pause, uh, home and everything you may need. So that's it, guys.